Okay, so I'm going to go for Bill, pronouns he, him, calling you from Illinois, uh, who wants to talk about how to come out as an atheist to his wife. Bill, how are you doing today? Hey, guys. Uh, thanks for taking my call. Uh, first off, hey, I just wanted to say, Forrest, I really love all of your content. Uh, the Sex and Thank Sensibility uh, video you came out with, I know you said that you don't like it, but it was super informative, and I really appreciate it. And uh, Dave, Thank you. I want to remake that so it's a little bit more coherent. pretty good. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I've heard you say that before, but I, even as it sits, it's still super informative. Um, I know you're running Thank out you. of time, so I'll make it quick. Um, I, I have deconverted over the last, say, year, year and a half, and haven't admitted to myself that I'm an atheist until about six months ago. Um, mm-hmm. I grew up super religious uh, at, at church every single night uh, or day, just doing uh, different things. And you know, all of my community was, all my friends were that community. Uh, so when I left, that kind of fell away. So um, that's that. But then my, my wife, um, she's, she grew up Catholic. She went to Catholic school, um, but not really practicing any, anymore. Uh, we've been together for about 12 years. And, you know, I've been to one Catholic mass with her. Like, it's not very common. But it's still is difficult because it's, you know, it's a whole worldview, um, that you, that changes. And we have a daughter now, she's two and a half. And like, I know that the question is going to come up about, you know, getting baptized and everything. And luckily with COVID, we've been able to push it off a bit, but you know, I, I, I want my daughter to be more of a critical thinker and not believe everything that, you know, somebody tells her and, I'm just looking for some advice as to how I can come out to my wife and not, you know, you know, do it gently. Um, you know, my conversion took or deconversion took so long. It's like, it's hard to, you know, have a conversation because to accept it within yourself, it takes so long to get there. Um, if that makes any sense. So like, I don't know if I, I, I just, I need some advice as to what you guys might suggest. Do, I think do you, Dave would probably be way better equipped than this for me. Well, how how much do you think she knows? I mean, has she does she have a have you guys had any conversations about your changes so, or any anything like that? A little bit. Um we're both very left wing. So when we point out certain things, it's easy to kind of be like, oh, those religious people or, or something like that. And we haven't really had much of a conversation about it i've kind of dropped some like seeds a little bit about you know critical thinking and our own Mm. biases and stuff but nothing specific to religion right if she's it's possible that she's more of a cultural catholic than than uh you know die hard got to be there all the time at mass and do and and i'm very vastly uninformed about Catholicism. Sure. My my lane was fundamentalist evangelicalism, but it's very possible that she's more um I, I believe this because it's been, you know, it's in my family and this is who I am, so to speak. And she might want your child to be baptized just because of that. Um I would I would avoid labels as much as possible. Like the A word is very scary. Um even you admitted yeah. it was to your to yourself and it's going to be scary to her. But if you can continue to raise skeptical questions and bring skepticism into the conversation, like it seems like you already have, then you kind of start chipping away at that monster of religion, and it's not as big a monster. And I would take the long view, and I'm no expert on this, so please, I'm not a therapist of any kind. I just have a lot of years of experience in this shit. I would take the long view concerning your your child, and I mean, the, the truth is... If she gets baptized or not, it's not going to change her life. We know that. She's just, you know, she's just going to get wet. Uh, right. your, your wife might think she's being protected by evil, from evil spirits or that she's set up to be okay with God. And if your wife feels better with that, it might not be the worst thing in the world to let her go through with that ceremony, with that, with that um, ritual, because you know it's not going to change anything at all and you right. will be you will be there to as your daughter gets older and starts having conversations and starts learning about the world you're going to be there to help her think skeptically and critically and your wife it seems is going to be okay with that so 
So I would just kind of tiptoe through this part of the forest and not get in <laughs> forest and not get into too much of a hurry to like define things and and you know everyone has to choose sides and just kind of let it work itself out because it very well could. I mean, it doesn't sound like your wife's now. If she was a fundamentalist, you know, wants the the everybody there at church all the time and is a Bible thumper, we're talking about a different deal then that's a different yeah. thing altogether yeah and she's but not it, like that and i was even shocked like a week or two ago we were at her parents house and and her mom said something about being religious and my wife said mom we're not even that religious so like yeah, i see? heard that and i was like oh so, well that's you know there in you the right go direction at least well that's kind of what i was sensing okay. based on what you said earlier is that it's not that big a deal to her and if the baptism is a thing then it's just more of a ritualistic ceremonial kind of thing that that and it, it, she probably would say you know what it's not going to change our child it's just what we what i feel comfortable doing and if you can give that up and it doesn't matter to you i wouldn't I, you know pick your battles is kind of what i'm saying yeah Does that makes sense yeah i think that if my daughter wasn't involved i could i could you know go for a while without even mentioning it much because it's really not that important to her I don't think that's um, that's good. And, it, and, it, and your daughter's still really young. So it's not like she's going to have, yeah. the, you know, when she gets to be six and eight and 10 and starts asking questions and is learning how the world works, then it's going to be more important for you and your wife to be on the same page in communicating mm -hmm. these kind of things. And, and I, you know, if you can tiptoe into that, I think you guys can find a pretty unified i mean i've i've always said to parents don't tell your kids what to think teach them how to think and that yeah. applies to atheists yeah. as well as christians don't teach them there's no god and you don't want to believe in that nonsense just say you know what i'm going to encourage you to ask questions to think critically and if you do that i can almost guarantee your daughter's going to come out okay yeah, I would also say, you know, even awesome. even if, you know, Dave, I think made a great point saying that this is still very early on in her life and like this wouldn't affect her too uh, too much. But like even still down the line, what an amazing lesson in critical thinking to see. Yeah, yeah actually, mom and dad figured some shit out, too. And yeah. we're, we're also, you know, not infallible. And we also learn something. And now we're all learning together. And like that's that's a great moment to structure a young mind as well. So and like, and know. modeling being able to disagree on some things and still get along and, Surely. and coexist. Surely. I mean, that those are huge lessons, especially in the in the climate we're living in now in this country. So, yeah, definitely. yeah. you got that right. It's not easy. That's for sure. So, all right. Well, thanks, guys. I really appreciate your uh, your insight. Thank you so much. Well, good luck to all that, Bill. Yeah, thanks so much. Thanks for calling in, brother.